But we begin at FSCJ Cecil Field Campus in southwest Jacksonville, not far from the Jacksonville Equestrian Center off Normandy Boulevard. The Cecil Campus is where you will find the college's commercial driver's training program. Now things are about to get much more high-tech. As Making Moves correspondent Brittany Donovan reports, JTA is adding a second autonomous vehicle test track at Cecil Field. And with it, a new AV curriculum that will bring this new technology directly into the college classroom. Right now, we're at FSCJ's Cecil Center, and this is where students typically practice to take a CDL exam. But if you take a look, you can see JTA's autonomous vehicle going through. Right now, we're standing in the brand new test track for JTA's Ultimate Urban Circulator. It's not something you see every day, an autonomous vehicle navigating curves on a college campus. But when JTA started looking for a new test track, partnering with FSCJ was a natural fit. So our partnership with FSCJ is kind of a three-prong approach. Um, our first is uh, the use of the Cecil Field testing grounds. JTA has been testing AVs for years as part of its Ultimate Urban Circulator program. Most recently, their autonomous shuttles have been transporting COVID-19 samples at Mayo Clinic. Now, JTA will be using FSCJ's commercial driver's license test track at Cecil Center. We're looking at uh, battery life. We're looking at user experience. We're looking at vehicle optics. So from the outside in, what do people see? How does the vehicle interact with the environment? How do the customers on the vehicle feel? Does it accelerate properly? Does it decelerate properly? Does it stop long enough at the stops? All of those things we can test. The second part of the new partnership will bring autonomous vehicles to FSCJ campuses. They'll serve as shuttles for students and staff. We're really starting to work towards what are the infrastructure requirements, what type of vehicles are best suited for this type of environment and this type of agile program. You no, know, it only brings the attractiveness of leveraging innovative and bold technology to kind of help solve some sort of problem on their campus. Uh, but additionally, it kind of shows that FSCJ and the JTA have this partnership and kind of moving the needle forward and kind of bringing some of that industry perspective to FSCJ. Uh, to support, you know, to support the futures. JTA is also looking to the future of who will work on their fleet of autonomous vehicles. The Ultimate Urban Circulator, or U2C, will replace the Skyway in downtown Jacksonville and eventually expand into other areas of Northeast Florida. Any vehicle that's emerging technology, there's going to be a deficiency in a, in a workforce to supply services to those vehicles. So as electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, as they start to become more mainstream, we need the service personnel to maintain those vehicles. And not only to maintain them and to do the work on them, but also to operate them. That's why JTA's innovation experts are working with FSCJ on a new autonomous vehicle curriculum for students. That is going to drive what the workforce is going to look like. So my hope is that as they start needing service technicians or people who can troubleshoot and or people who can kind of analyze what's happening within the vehicle from afar, then that's where the skill set's going to be important for our students and for the workforce going into the future. Its experience, FSCJ's Dean of Engineering and Industry says, is valuable across industries. The goal is ultimately not that, that our students get tied into uh, just one industry, for example, the automotive industry or, or what could become the, the autonomous vehicle industry, uh, but they have portable skills. So that as one industry uh, goes down and another industry goes up, uh, they are still able to be productive citizens in the workforce and have advanced skills that they'll always be employable. While JTA continues its search for the right vehicle for the U2C and its Bay Street Innovation Corridor, these community leaders agree. It benefits the community and it benefits the region because then our trained, skilled workforce they stay, they live, and they work, and they contribute back to this community. So it's an effort of trying to keep our community here and even attract others to come into the region. This partnership is another step in making Northeast Florida the premier hub for autonomous vehicles and testing. We look at this as an opportunity, and it's not just AVs. We're looking at retrofit vehicles. We're looking at autonomous buses. And so we believe, you know, uh, the sky's the limit as to where we can take this technology. On the West Side, Brittany Donovan, JTA, Making Moves.